Hello, welcome. It's Susan Taylor Shire. This is Soul Mastery, and we are here for Treasure Chest Tuesday once again. How great is that? And we are yet again in a holiday season. <laughs> Sometimes it just comes steamrolling in, whether we're ready for it or not. There it is, and we see it commercially. We see all sorts of Christmas decorations coming in way sooner than we may be ready uh, in stores, but there it is, the holiday season is upon us. And whether we have a love relationship with the holidays, a hate relationship, or a love-hate relationship with the holidays, here they are. This is a season of the year that is important to embrace, like every season of the year. And one of the things that's really important for us to embrace is a whole new way of looking at what we call money and the economy. If you made it through, which I think everyone did, <laughs> Black Friday, Cyber Monday, a week of Black Friday, you name it, everything's on sale forever <laughs> these days, then you know that we're in the midst of looking at our economy through our wallets, our credit cards. What is our economic status seems to be what we see in the physical plane of our purse, wallet, or credit card, right? No, we're gonna change that, okay? Because what we've done as spiritual beings uh, is feel like, okay, it's time to get spiritual. Let's pray and meditate and be spiritual and then we'll be able to cope more with the lacks and this material world and this world we have to live in and all of that. And we have to change that, don't we? What if we saw the material world as all being sacred creation? Our sacred creation. Oh, and what if we saw money as our sacred creation? What a thought. And then we would start to generate a sacred economy. What a thought. So we're thinking about though, isn't it? Because we all hunger for sacredness. More connection, more communion, more of the wealth of the spirit of the holiday season coming forward. But as long as we feel trapped in this push-pull of we want the spirit of Christmas, we want the spirit of the holidays, we want the spirit of whatever it is you celebrate, Hanukkah, you name it. We want the spirit of that to flourish, but we just don't like the material plane and everything it's filled with at this time. We are creating even more separation in our consciousness between spiritual and material. And isn't that what we're starting to change? To embrace the material as part of the spiritual world. How do we do that? We call it a sacred creation. And especially money, a sacred creation and therefore a sacred economy. You see how that works? So again, it's not a time for prayer and meditation alone, hoping the rest will go away. And there are even people who say, gee, let's just get to the fifth dimension and then we'll have the more. And yikes, but it feels like if we start to move forward and we have climate change and all of that in the world, we're going to have to deal with far less. You know, economically, it's going to be far less. We're going to be just constricted. So we better hold on to being cheap about things and getting just the smallest amounts and really getting constricted and tight so that we can make it through at the material level. But we can be spiritual. Doesn't work like that, does it? We have to start realizing that we are creating the more on all levels. And all levels of more Yes, it embraces our material plane. So that means that we value more everything that is before us. Value, even if we have four items and that's it in our house, we value them. Because what we're creating with a sacred economy and the sense that everything we create is sacred is that sense of we're creating more love, more beauty, more fulfillment, more community, all those qualities of spirit that make up abundance and spiritual material wealth. Because when you think of beauty, fulfillment, all of that, you want it in the material plane, in the earth plane, don't you? 
So you have to embrace the earth plane as a part of your spirituality. And that means sacred creation, money as a sacred creation. How we uh, approach gift giving and all of that. It's not just, well, everybody's not gonna get a gift this year or I don't have any money for all the greatness of the holiday. I'm going to embrace it as a sacred creation this holiday and make everything about it sacred, even in the material world. And if I have a handful of raisins, don't know where that came from, instead of a whole fruit cake, beautiful. I have a quality of sacredness because I make it that way. You see how that works? Yeah. So it's well worth considering how to see everything as a sacred creation and particularly money. That we are generating a whole new earth, right? A whole new earth, but it's going to be in this world. And that's going to create a sacred economy and more sacredness at every level of creation. So this holiday season, one of the things you can do is relook at how you address it. Isn't that great? And then you can enjoy every bit of abundance that sacred creation is born from. So I celebrate you this holiday season and there'll be more from me about the holiday and the beginning of the year and all of that coming up because of course we're going to do a beginning of the year event so stay tuned to help you get into 2020 and another really glorious way to move into 2020 is to come to Costa Rica at the end of January. We have just a couple of places left, but I want you to know that the invitation is still open. We will make room for you. If that's an incredibly sacred way for you to start your year and see yourself and your world as a sacred creation by giving yourself the gift of the joy of transformation in the bounty of abundance of Costa Rica. So blessings to you all for sure. And if you aren't signed up for my email list, please feel free to. Soulmastery.net is your avenue for all things soul related and for more of the development of your sacred creation here and now.